Hey guys, it's Bia here. So today we're back with another video and today's video is more or less a discussion and it's something that I'm trying to make you guys aware of. Um, this is a very recent thing, well recent as in a few years, but it's quite recent and it's a um, big innovation that will help a lot of people in the fashion industry. So this video is part of my sustainability series that I started out with the uh dyeing using uh flowers video i don't know if you guys have watched it if you want to watch it please go ahead and click it here well not yet you just you can click it in the cards later after we're done with this video so this video is about clo 3d now clo 3d is essentially a program that um has been around for a few years and it's constantly being updated, it's constantly being changed. I have downloaded it a few months ago and then I un like I finished my three free trial and now I've used my other email and I'm using their second trial, well not second trial, basically the trial again so that I can use it for my uni projects. So essentially what 3D uh what this 3D program is, is it allows you to develop your designs uh, on the computer without having to do any physical pattern cutting, any samples, any twirls or anything really. Essentially what it does is it has two sides. One side is where you do the, the 2D pattern cutting and then it shows you in real time essentially what this 2D piece translates to as a 3D piece. So the reason why I've included this in the sustainability series is that if you guys think about it, when we're producing any garment or any collection, I'll give you guys an example from me. So if I'm going to do a uni project and all I have to produce is at least one or two pieces of uh, like a garment, for example, trousers and I don't know, a jacket, okay. For me to get to the final jacket, I had to go for at least four or five iterations of the jacket in paper. And then for me to make the uh, calico version, I also used at least two or three, like, I redid the same thing like two or three times in calico. And then I went to the final garment, which was made with the final fabric. And even then with the final fabric, I was still not satisfied. So... The process is quite long and it takes a lot of resources so essentially this program is doing is making you not need any of those resources and allowing you to do it all on the computer for one you would save a lot of money because you are not spending it on paper you're not spending it on fabric and second of all you are helping out the environment so less waste goes to the environment less paper has to be produced less trees are killed less fabric is made less fabric goes to landfill and so on and this is very very useful now i have tried to play around with the program i am currently very very trash let's just say that very trash i've only had a few hours with it i kind of tried to make a jacket but we're working on it <laughs> uh there's plenty of videos on youtube with tutorials by that by no means this channel that is not like a tutorial channel for clo there is plenty of other people that way are way way more experienced than me and i will link those people in the description they show you how to make tops dresses bomber jackets they show from very simple things to very complex things they do have a free trial which is for one month and you then you don't have to sign up using any cards or anything so you can download it and you can use it and if you want you can do what i did <laughs> you can basically keep making accounts with different emails and you can keep using it for free but you know obviously if you have the money to spend on it spend on it but i know a lot of people on this channel like the people that are watching are like me they're students and i know we don't have money like that uh and if i was to pay it would be 50 pounds a month i'm pretty sure as a normal like just as a an individual and they have a 50 percent discount for students and by the way this video is not sponsored by them so i am not related to them i'm literally just giving you guys ideas and suggestions on how to develop yourself as a designer so as i was saying that is what the program does it should help you out uh ideally it helps you out there is a learning curve and there's a lot of things that you have to get your head around when doing like when sewing basically there's different options where you can sew when you can produce things 
and they even have different types of fabrics so you can render the fabric with something like a wool or something like a I don't know satin or silk so that then gives you a more realistic view and you even have the option of one like I might show you guys some videos here there's people on Instagram on my Instagram that have made amazing things I follow a few people and they've done like amazing creations where they have uh, made full-on dresses you can make the mannequins like the little person that you have as like your mannequin you can make them walk around like a fashion show you can make them pose in different ways so even if you come up like when you come to your final design one you can display it as like as though someone like an actual person is um wearing it and they can even look really realistic you can play around with the lighting and everything so there's a lot of potential for you to develop your creations without having to spend any money essentially it's just a lot of learning and a lot of patience because getting around it is very very tough one more thing i'll suggest is when you're going into this program and you're going to do any patterns i would suggest that you uh, have at least some knowledge of how real patterns are made i would suggest that you guys get a book on like different patterns for example how to make a sleeve pattern how to make a um how to make i don't know trousers in a dress kind of so that you know how something how a flat pattern translates into the 3d thing and how different adjustments within it give you different outcomes so when you're doing it on the program you kind of have an idea of the steps you need to take in order to get there but if you want to just go ahead and experiment with it that's up to you so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to show you guys the program i am going to give you a quick look through and i'm going to try and create something let's see what i can make uh, just so you can have an idea of how we go about this program and how we can use it to our benefit so yeah uh, by the way, I will also leave a link to their website on uh, in the comment, not in the comments. <laughs> I'll leave a link to their website in the link below. I'll link in the what? <laughs> oh, my brain. I will leave a link to their website in the description of this video and in the cards if I can. I'm not sure if I can. Also, please don't forget you guys to subscribe because I'm trying so hard to help you guys out. Uh, it means the world to me and uh, if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments below and let me know what would you like to see next so yeah guys let's get on with this video all right guys so let's get started i just want to start by showing you guys what this program has in terms of uh, like mannequins poses and what it can do so as you can see i'm showing you guys here one of the uh, female mannequins that they provide and what we can do is we can see her from all angles we can even change the color of her hair as i'm about to show you there literally is a few these are the hairstyles that come default but i'm pretty sure on their website you can buy more hairstyles you can buy more fabric you can buy a lot of digi digital things that you can add you even have little children that you can use and you also have men, so you can use different uh, body types as well. Um, you have these little square square things that you can re you can use it for decoration. And you also have different uh, clothes. So this is like the basic of the basic, and you from here you can literally do anything and experiment with anything. This is literally just like a t-shirt with a little collar and if you guys try to do something different they also have some more templates so they have here a, a type of blouse and um well, i'm just gonna delete the thing that i have right now and i'm just going to show you guys um this other one which i actually, I actually haven't used before so we can just add the neck and everything individually and they're automatically sewn together because this is a template given to you and usually what you would do is you would let the program just merge everything together as I'm doing right now. And as you guys can see, those lines, like the blue and purple lines, they show the... Oh, <laughs> oops. Those blue and purple lines show the stitches between the pieces of fabric. And I'm just going to let my program uh, do the thing and try to process this because... 
they were positioned quite far away from each other and now it's having a bit of trouble so every time you do something like this i would suggest that you try to position the pieces around where it would go on the body so that it takes away from that time that you'll wait for the program to do move the, do, to do the moving itself essentially so as i am not very experienced i have still got a lot of trouble when using it as i said i only used it for a few hours now for my project where, where i flopped and i also used it before in like summer where i was experimenting with it and i literally just made one successful piece and it wasn't even that great so as i am showing you guys i'm now going to try and do the best i can to position the pieces around her body where it makes sense so the back piece will go in her back and the color will go around her neck where um it makes the most sense now, I'm still having a lot of trouble to position it around, but of course with time and practice, I would be able to do this more easily. I also have barely watched, I literally just watched like two minutes of a tutorial to be able to do one thing where I should actually watch a proper tutorial on how everything is done. But that's my mistake, just don't do what I say, uh, as in do as I say and not as I do. Um, I finally successfully positioned things around and I just want to see now if it's going to do uh what it's supposed to or it's or no i mean it's kind of better than last time at least it's around her arms and it's kind of dripped on her body and as you can see in the beginning when you're still learning there's still a lot that you have to play around with to understand the mechanics of this uh it's definitely much more difficult than learning photoshop on illus or illustration or uh, i can't speak today or illustrator um and it's requires a lot of time for you to learn uh i'm just quite trying to like pinch it around so this is essentially what the equivalent of in real life if you're putting this on a mannequin or a person you're basically moving it around but in real life it wouldn't be stuck to her neck the way it is um but as you can see we just put a shirt together in less than a second because our computer did it for us um uh, and on the side as you can see the um, the so the pieces the pattern pieces show in real time on the mannequin so now i just removed the color because it was just annoying me and bothering me got rid of it came out straight away and now we can see how it looks like without it so now i'm just going to do a bit of experimenting apologies for the noise there was just some phone ringing um as i was saying uh, i'm going to try and mess around with this um program to do something to this shirt and make make it interesting. I'm just again having trouble with um how this thing works still. Sorry for the trash tutorial guys, but um please stand by. <laughs> uh so what I'm gonna try and show you now is what you can do in terms of pattern manipulation and this is the basic of the basic. So what I wanna do is essentially I want to stretch the bottom of the shirt to essentially make it like a dress so um it gives you the measurements between each point and you can literally select one side as this piece is mirrored when i push one side down the other side does the same exact behavior so essentially is mirrored and you can do the same thing to the back as they uh when you have templates they usually come with this effect if you're doing it yourself from scratch then you have to add the mirroring uh, setting yourself to the piece so what i'm going to try and do is make uh, the front uh, smaller than the back and then we're going to do a little bit of an experiment so as i'm moving it as i said before look guys i, st I changed the size and it changed in real time now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what happens when you so so as you guys can could see i don't know if you saw it was very quick the small piece on the side of the body i don't know if you can see it on the flat side on the 2d sews to the bottom side of the dress so because a large piece was sewn to a small piece essentially the program automatically does a ruffle effect so that everything can join i don't know if you guys realize and it did the same thing to the front and the back and then i just went in and i kind of adjusted the pattern so it goes more around her body because it's still not doing enough before next thing i want to show you guys is what i'm going to do to the sleeve 
Now there's some options where you can add fullness. So for example, for a skirt and so on, or it's even some pieces in your uh, work, you just want to add fullness and you want it to be equally distributed. You can select where you want it to go. So that's what I just did. And then where you want it to stem from, which is what I'm doing now. And then you just kind of tell the program how big you want it. I'm just giving them a ran random value of like 100. And it went from 50 to 100. There you go. It, we just stretched the pattern. You can even see how it looked before and how it looks now and how much it has changed. Um, as I said before, imagine doing this on paper, how long it would take. It took us seconds. Now I'm just going to, as I said, can you guys see how when I changed the left side, it did it to the right side? Uh, I mean, sorry, the right side, it did it to the left side. Um, that's essentially the mirroring possibilities of this game. Not game. Oh my God, I cannot speak today of this program. So we just made the Raglan sleeve much larger than it is. And to be honest, I kind of like it, although this was just random experiment um so that's the power of that there's plenty of other tools as you guys can see in the 2d toolbar so many things and even in the 3d toolbar so what i want to do now is try and like pinch it because i feel like my um darling here is very naked um i just want to make it less extreme so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fix the front and the back because she also kind of looks like she has a nappy I'm going to try and f fix the front and the back by kind of stretching that little uh, rectangular, um, see this, this rectangular strand. I'm going to make it slightly longer so it doesn't ruffle as much. And hopefully she is a little bit more covered, although she's still showing her panties. But yeah, so I just, as you guys can see, not everything was mirrored. As you could see, the straps were not mirrored, so I had to select both of them at the same time and stretch them at the same time and i'm going to do the same thing to the back ones because those are also not connected pieces although i could do it myself to connect them um so now that i've done that we're just going to let it drape a little bit and we're going to see what the effect is going to be so from very short to slightly long and as you can see it slowly slowly starts to stretch down um, so now that I'm a bit more happy with that, I want to show you guys something else. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to venture into Pinterest and I'm going to get an image and just see what happens when we add it to the mannequin. This is another option that you guys have. You can get any image, you can do it yourself, make patterns and so on. I'm just going to steal something from Pinterest because currently this is a quick tutorial. I saved it to my laptop and now what I want to do is I want to figure out how I'm going to add it to the dress. Now, as you guys can imagine, imagine having to do this in real life. Imagine having to spend money on physical printing, finding somewhere to print. It, this is going to be so costly if you did it all, 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 all on real materials. So I'm just going to try and position this um, picture on her and hope for the best. Let's see what happens. So now that we have it there, it's quite small. We want it to be slightly bigger. And look, as you can see, I'm placing it around in the flat side. It's showing around in the 3D side and it's moving as I am moving on this side. So I'm going to just make it bigger. And it, to be honest, it looks quite cool. I'm quite pleased with that. That, that was that was a good happy accident as Bob Ross would say. <laughs> um, so um, I'm happy with this and it looks quite cool. Although she is a little bit weird currently, but it's fine. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys the potential of changing the uh, gradient. Is it gradient that we called it? Is the grain line. Uh, so if you want to change the grain line, you want to make the sleeves kind of fall in a different way. Um, you can do that too. I was trying to add it to the back piece, but for some reason I just couldn't. I don't know what happened. Uh, so we're just going to move on to something else. I'm going to show you guys uh, the different things that the program also has in terms of trimmings, in terms of stitches in terms of fabric and so on so if i go to um this section here let's just let it load a little bit for some reason it's taking a while come on come on come on come on 
um so in this area you guys have different fabrics this is the default ones that are given to you if you want you can always buy some later they have so many things in their library in their website which you can purchase um so as you can see you have a very thin fabric very thick fabric you have fluffy things which to be honest they look really nice i really hope that these can uh, do the real effect when you put it on each piece and i'm just going to experiment with one of them i'm going to change my sleeves to this very thin material so what i'm going to do is just drag it and drop it on the sleeve yeah that's cool cool and i'm going to change the material of it as you guys can see straight away uh, we can tell that it's a very thin and a very see-through material comparing to the basic one that was before it was probably just a basic cotton and there's so many other things i would like to experiment with in terms of this fabric just looking at it now uh, there's so many different options and imagine adding that to patterns and to layering that would look so cool um so yeah and i'm sure you can even change the color of each one the one that is showing is just for example oh, it's so fluffy okay okay i'll come down now guys so uh now that we have our fabric um what the heck am i doing oh my gosh now that we have our fabric i just want to show you guys something else so here as you guys can see there is different poses so what i can do is i can tell my mannequin or model to pose in a different way yeah that's cool so she's just slowly going to change from her other pose to this pose and everything that she's wearing is us of course already in her body oh please don't be naked darling everything is already shown on her body and it's just going to move as she moves like a video game character in a way so everything is already coded to do that for you you don't have to replace everything on her um it's really trying to recreate reality so what i want to do now is i want to experiment with this fabric so i'm going to make a little diamond shape so it's like potentially could be like a scarf or something and i'm going to try my best to one uh make it look like some sort of scarf by making it super fluffy because i just got inspired by that fluffy material and two i want to fit it in her arm so if you guys bear patience with me just give me a second and i will do my best to just place it on there um i'm basically gonna try and fit it in her arm and i'm gonna let it drape of over it so it doesn't fall um and as you guys can see, this is draping in her arm and we're, it's changing its shape. And then when I stop it from draping, it stays stuck in that way. So what I'm going to just try and keep on doing is make sure that one, it doesn't fall off. And two, it looks semi-realistic. So in with this process, it's very tedious, but I'm sure with time it would be much easier. So don't forget, everything is about practice. And because this is a, something very, very new... I am still struggling, um, but this was like everything Photoshop and Illustrator. I, in the beginning, I also felt like I was so stupid and I didn't know what I was doing. But now, you know what? Let's just put this on her shoulder. I'm not saying I'm professional at Photoshop or anything, but it's much better than before. Let me just tell you that. Um, and now that I've changed the light setting, you can see that she looks much more realistic than she did before. And she looks pretty cool, to be honest. So now that we have her in this way the next thing i would like to show you guys is how you change the light although i don't remember i am gonna try and put her on a um a stage so that you guys can see but before let me just show you guys here's the options there's different models and different things that you can use basic stuff that you can edit and it's much easier than starting from scratch here you have like buckles and so, like stains and stuff that you can add to fabric you also have another like more buckles for belts and so on you even have stitches so types of trimmings and stitches and things that you can put over the fabric and last but not least i would really like to show you not the zips the zips are not the last thing i want to show you is the staging so what i want to do now is i'm going to put my little darling here 
in her stage and she's gonna be in the spotlight and she's gonna look super cute <laughs> also there's ways to make her walk uh which i will look into in the future and hopefully do something cool and as you can see i'm going to download the stage um this does take quite a while to load because it's quite a lot but there you go you have your little runway so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna bring her back because the program as i saved it because i wanted to put the um, uh display she was taken away so i'm gonna have to reintroduce her to the um program and those were some examples of the other stages that they have and i'm pretty sure they sell everything literally their website just go check their website link in the bio also don't forget to like share subscribe you know all the good things anyways so we're gonna bring back our darling she's gonna be put put on the stage and because if you guys remember i put the stage a bit down now she is essentially floating so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the stage back up to the, her level so it looks like she's walking on it um there you go there you go she looks good she looks beautiful um so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you guys can you guys see how um the light can change oh okay it doesn't change in that way there's ways in which you can change the light to make it more dramatic and to make her look better also to add different color lights so it looks like maybe she's in a nightclub i don't know it's just look it's just simple things that make it look even more realistic and there's also rendering that you can do and you can even use this for um can you use this for video games maybe you could you can use this for so many things um but i just find it really great you have texture you have a uh, real li like live change as you change your patterns and i'm not just i'm not trying to encourage you guys to all just go go do this because i love this app it's not I have no affiliation to it. Literally, I just think that this is the future and this has the potential to change so many things in the industry. Just something as simple as moving something online. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was literally just me showing you guys around and experimenting. Um, as I said, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. This brings us back to things like zero waste uh, pattern cutting and for sustainable, uh, for a sustainable design uh, process and for a sustainable production method even. You can even use these things. If you were to make a website, you can even imagine that one, you wouldn't even need to have the garments made. You could literally have everything as a 3D product that was created in this program put it all on a website and like make uh, made to order things on your website which you don't even have to produce yourself before you sell them which is amazing like there's so many things you can do with this program there are literally the limits are I don't know what the limits are basically what your computer can handle because this program does take a bit of like uh, what's it I don't know what you call it it takes a lot of mental power from your computer <laughs> it takes a lot from my computer for example sometimes it's quite slow it takes a lot of time to process things so yeah um so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe like and comment below anything and i'll see you guys next time bye bye have a beautiful day